we are tapping into collective energy for the new moon in Virgo. It's happening this Saturday. Pretty sure I'm posting this on Saturday. So it's today or whatever you're watching it. New moon in Virgo. Where is Virgo in your chart? Which house is Virgo activating for you? With Virgo, the sign of health, service, and assessment, the devil is in the details. So for me and the way I see it, Virgo is dealing a lot with our perfectionism. Perfectionism is reality through the lens of expectation. So practice tolerating messiness, internal messiness. You're not here to be perfect. Nonconformists will rebel at the Virgo new moon. Some may take the stance of thinking or logicaling, logic -ing, logicaling their way through it. Um, and that's just solution-based thinking. That's white supremacy in action to glue us to the solutions versus really sitting with what isn't working. Sit with the thing that's illuminating to you in this Virgo new moon. What do you want to do differently? What is the smallest action you could take to give yourself that? Underneath, we have judgment, awareness, crossroads, decision to do something differently. Let's get some more room here. Then we have the four of wands, the devil, summer. <laughs> devil is in the detail, right? Um, four of wands, that's like commitment. So um, let's keep going. The hanged beast, knight of pentacles, the empress, page of swords, the hermit, and the nine of cups. Some really awesome things on the table, at least at the gate. I see Virgo showing up for this Virgo new moon. I love that. It's like in the center at the bottom. I feel like this Virgo new moon is really wanting to show you, illuminate to you where you've been trying too hard. Um, you know, the devil is like this energy of sort of manipulate. You, it, not necessarily manipulation, but it's about the things that bind us. The, the things that bind us so much so that we are um, entranced, like these little critters are entranced by the play of the devil. We too can become comfortable in places we don't belong in. So something that was never made for us you know, we got stuck in a, stuck somewhere there. The Knight of Pentacles in the dead center is insinuating to me that there's um, work to be done. There's it's the Knight of Pentacles is slow moving, so this this is nothing is happening. Nothing ever does happen um, at the totality of the new moon or any lunation or anything like that. But Virgo is about health. So to that end, it's about recommitting to healthy routines. What are you committed to? Which shows here we're committed to doing less but better, right? The hanged beast is the energy of stillness. How is stillness preparing you to move through the next season? We'll say the next two weeks, the next six months. I think that if you took an honest assessment of where you've been, you'll see that there is a lot of things that are working, a lot of things that are growing. And we have wish fulfillment card here, the nine of cups at the very end. So I feel like it's saying that you are moving towards your destination, but it's not so much an outwardly um, expression. The Knight of Pentacles um, is telling me that while there, there is 
external movement, it's not moving so fast. And even internally, we're actually coming to a place of stillness. I think that there is like a personal victory here is really what's happening. The Page of Swords and then the Devil. The Page of Swords is the energy that deals with any tower moment. So it's like preparation. You're prepared because, because you're committed to um, building a solid foundation within yourself that's more enlightened. You're becoming more aware of your shadow. You know how to lead yourself out of your shadow and then into your true self. Summer, this summer card in Northern Animal Tarot is a special card. There are several special cards, including all of the seasons and then the moon phases. Summer is like, yes, everything is alive and growing and doing well. There's a lot of life. But summer is also the reminder to take respite, <laughs> respite in shade, like to take breaks. And that's really what's showing up here is like lovely, awesome harmony, structure, the, har the harmony of structured commitment or something being very solid. See this happy family under this grove and then stillness, you know, movement and then stillness. And then we get this air energy, an idea comes in, a message comes in. How do we respond to that? The devil here then can represent any sort of, um, you know, canned response based on how um, we were raised and or our past experiences that have shaped how we see the world, which aren't necessarily always true. Like sometimes those things are there to protect us. But I think if you took an honest assessment of where that really comes from, it's usually some sort of fear based on the judgment, right, of a past experience. So I think that these are just life, little life lessons coming. A new, a new moon in Virgo is illuminating how we've done the work. It's going to show you where you've graduated, where you've accelerated, how you've grown, um, and just because you've past a lesson doesn't mean it doesn't show up again. I think this new one's going to be like, a, oh yeah, I remember how to do this. Oh yeah, let me remember where I was. Um, let's clarify here um, the Empress. I want to know in this future position, what is growing? I mean, I think it's you. I think you collective are growing. Yeah, it's exactly what I had said because it's the, se the seven of pentacles, the eight of swords, and the chariot. It's basically like saying you've done the work, you've invested, done the time in, in yourself, and in situations around you to get past this eight of swords, um, victim mentality. Victim mentality is another form of shadow through your own strength and will. This is cancer showing up here too. So actually we have a few um, zodiacs here. We have cancer, Capricorn, Taurus and Libra and Virgo. Since this was a pretty quick read, let's go ahead and pull some cards for the Zodiacs. All right, special message for Capricorns, the Devils. Capricorn. Yeah, Capricorn, you might have gone through a situation that was very hurtful to you, but I feel like, you know, you're, you're the king of swords in the middle there. So 
you know, you don't need to um, worry about what other people are saying at this point. Um, just focus on what is true to you instead of um, trying to base your um, decisions or path in life around what the people around you are doing. Let's go to Virgo. Ten of Cups, Two of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Virgo, I feel like you really know what to do with this energy. I feel like you're perfectly content in this like planning phase, taking a look at um, everything that you have in your life that is worth celebrating. So this, this new moon in Virgo for you, Virgo, um, is a time to really strengthen your intuition and just get in better touch with yourself. Not that you're not, because you, sh you are showing up that you, that you are, that this is energy you know how to work with, but um, just a good time to be reconnecting with yourself. Good for you, Virgo. Let's see, we have Taurus. The Emperor, three of swords and the Ten of Wands. Hmm. Taurus, I feel like you might be a little tired from this feeling of doing everything yourself or maybe not feeling like acknowledged for everything that you do do. So for Taurus, I might give the advice of um, you know, if it's acknowledgement, for example, how can you give yourself acknowledgement um, for the work that you do? So there's something about, you know, this weekend about um, not needing necessarily to look towards others to um, give us what we need. Everybody, it doesn't matter what zodiac sign you are or where you are in life or what you're doing. A lot of spirituality is about coming to terms with how to make yourself whole. I see Taurus doing that. Taurus, you're doing a lot um, for yourself and for others. And I just don't know if it's giving you what you want. It's, the emperor is about is Aries. It's, you know, take control, take responsibility, take control over your situation. If it's, your, if it's you're doing too much, you could do less. Okay, uh, Libra, and then Cancer. Libra, Libra, Libra. Oh. Oh. Libra, we have the Five of Cups, the Wise Old Tree, and the Seven of Wands. There's another special card from this Northern Animal Tarot. The Wise Old Tree. Yes, yeah, sure, wisdom was good, but one is... When is too much knowledge really stiffen you from, stiffen? Like, stop you from growing, I guess. So there's some sort of disappointment here, Libra, about maybe something that could have gone differently or something that you expected was one thing, uh, but is really another. And now you find yourself in a defensive position or wanting to like uphold something that you know to be true. Um, Libra, I would ask you, um, is the thing that you're disappointed in is that really true? Do you want it to be true? And can you change that story for yourself? Like, it's okay to change. It's okay to walk away from something. It's not working. I love the, um, on the internet, I found a meme that I really resonated with. It was like, you can quit on the thing without quitting yourself. Sometimes you have to walk away. Sometimes it's a matter of perspective, Libra. You're looking at the three cups because you're you're hurting about something, but I feel like it's saying that it's like your 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 defense system is it? these are shadows. The defense mechanism is a shadow and so is this old tree. This wise old tree. Finally, last but not least, let's see Cancer. Cancer New Moon. Advice. Oh yeah. 
we have the Six of Swords. So you're literally moving. You're moving somewhere from rough waters into calmer waters. So some sort of transition period here, springtime in the middle and the magician, you have everything that you need already to have this new beginning. I feel like it was about wrapping your mind around moving on. I think you need to welcome this fresh start. Also, magician is also air energy or air elemental. Mm -hmm. I think we have a lot in air signs still. Mars is in Gemini, Mercury is in Libra. I think that's really nice. Okay, I think I'll leave it there. Uh, I keep forgetting to say this, but in the description below, there is a song, a track that I've picked for the vibe of each reading. Um, go listen to it if you want to, but also no pressure. I just really like music and tarot and I want to integrate more things that I like and try play with different formats and things. So go check out the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you on the next one.